Today in this lecture we are going to discuss the effect of external pressure outside the heart on cardiac output curves. Previously we discussed the cardiac function curve or the cardiac output curve and we discussed that if the right atrial pressure increases or if the venous return increases then the cardiac output increases. Here again we are plotting the same cardiac output curve or the cardiac function curve but we will discuss it in detail with different factors which will increase the external pressure outside the heart. Now in a normal heart, in a normal heart if we start increasing the right atrial pressure here we have plotted the right atrial pressure or the pressure at the level of the right atrium here we have the right atrium right ventricle left atrium left ventricle here we have the lungs here we have the diaphragm normally the pressure the intrapleural pressure is around minus 4 millimeter of mercury minus 4 millimeter of mercury and at this minus 4 millimeter of mercury when the right atrial pressure starts increasing the cardiac output starts increasing at every level but if some conditions increase or decrease the external pressure the pressure outside the heart then the, sh the cardiac output curve or the cardiac function curve will shift towards the right side or the left side so we will see the, the effect of external pressure on the cardiac output curve here we have the normal cardiac output curve in which we have a normal intrapleural pressure of minus 4 millimeter of mercury. Here when the, the right atrial pressure starts increasing towards this side, we see there is an increase as the cardiac out uh, as the right atrial pressure starts increasing without any factor without any uh, changes in other factors the cardiac output the cardiac output also starts moving and the cardiac output increases with the increase in right atrial pressure for normal intrapleural pressure of minus 4 millimeter of mercury now this minus 4 millimeter of mercury is created due to the negative pressure of the diaphragm because the diaphragm moves down similarly the the pleura there is a space between the parietal and the visceral pleura which creates a negative pressure and the negative pressure basically brings the air from outside into the lung now this negative pressure maintains normally minus 4 millimeter of mercury pressure and at this pressure the right atrial pressure is 0 millimeter of mercury normal intrapleural pressure of minus 4 millimeter of mercury and the normal right atrial pressure of 0 with the increase in right atrial pressure the cardiac output will increase but but if the there is some external pressure or there is change in the external pressure outside the heart then the shift then this curve will shift either towards the right side or the left side now there are multiple factors which can increase or decrease the pressure outside the heart now normally cyclical changes occur during respiration while breathing while breathing uh, while doing inspiration and expiration taking the air in and taking the air out there there are some changes in this normal intrapleural pressure there are some changes in the normal uh, normal intrapleural pressure during normal cyclical respiration now there is another factor which will change which will change the external factor out uh, the external pressure outside the heart and that is the negative pressure breathing another factor which changes the pressure outside the heart is the positive pressure breathing another factor is opening the thoracic cage the, the lungs and the heart are basically present in the thoracic cage in the uh, in the ribs when the thoracic cage is opened there is also shift 
or there is also change in the pressure outside the heart and finally cardiac tamponade which is basically collection of blood outside the heart will also lead to some external pressure change in the external pressure outside the heart now during cyclical changes during cyclical changes during respiration the sometimes there is positive change and sometimes negative in the inspiration in inspiration the diaphragm moves down and the parietal pleura basically create negative pressure so that air can come inside the lungs and during this mechanism the pressure is going towards the negative side and the sh the curve this curve can shift towards the left side this sh this curve can shift towards left side but if there is negative pressure breathing negative pressure breathing is basically with iron lung iron lung in people with polio there was a uh, use of iron lung because the uh, the polio patients could not use their muscles so the iron lung would create a negative pressure iron lung would create negative pressure and due to negative pressure the air would come into the lungs and it that iron lung or a tank would help in the breathing that was basically an example of negative pressure breathing and that negative pressure breathing also shifts this curve towards the left side towards the left side now when the curve shifts towards the left side it means that even at a lesser pressure even at a lesser pressure the cardiac output will increase more the cardiac output will increase more in contrast to that if there is positive pressure breathing that positive pressure breathing is with the help of ventilator for example we connect a tube here and here we have a machine and which is pumping the blood into the lungs it will basically cause positive pressure breathing it will increase the intrapleural pressure it will increase the intrapleural pressure from the minus 4 towards minus 2 here there was a decrease in the intrapleural pressure from the minus 4 to minus 5 so the the curve basically shifted towards the left side and there was more increase in the cardiac output even at lesser pressure but with the positive pressure breathing or with the opening of the thoracic cage or with the cardiac tamponade the curve or this cardiac function curve will move towards the right side it will keep on moving towards the right side or towards the higher pressure side it means that in these conditions in these conditions to achieve a normal level of this cardiac output for example at this level or at any level of cardiac output we will have to exert more pressure we will have to exert more pressure or the right atrial pressure will have to increase more to attain that same level of cardiac output if the shift if the curve shifts towards the left side then this output will be attained at a lesser pressure but if the sh shift moves uh, the curve move towards or the curve shifts towards the right side towards this side then the same level of cardiac output the same level of cardiac output will be attained at a higher level at a higher level so the conditions which basically shifts this curve towards the left sides include the normal cyclical respiration and the negative pressure breathing which is with the help of iron lung which is not normally used and the the conditions which basically shifts the curve towards the right side and increase the pressure intrapleural pressure they include the positive pressure breathing which basically pump the air into the lungs and increase the pressure outside the heart they increase the pressure outside the heart similarly opening the thoracic cage will decrease this negative pressure it will decrease this negative pressure and this negative pressure will be uh, be increase from the minus 4 towards either minus 2 or plus 2 or plus 8 or plus 12 whatever the level may be finally in cardiac tamponade 
there is collection of blood outside the heart there is collection of blood or fluid outside the heart now this exerts a pressure outside the heart it exerts pressure outside the heart so the the curve this blue color curve is basically the cardiac tamponade curve and it shows that initially initially there is less pressure requirement because the the pressure is at this level the pressure is at this level but as soon as the heart gets uh, filled or the, uh, the blood starts coming into the heart this blood outside the heart it starts exact exerting pressure on the heart so the curve slowly and gradually shifts toward the right side initially it is not shifting that much toward the right side but as the cardiac output or the pressure starts increasing it moves more toward the right side because initially there is no pressure over here no pressure over here no pressure over here so blood can come into the heart initially but once it reaches towards these lower zones then more pressure will be required the right atrial pressure will have to increase more so that the cardiac output can increase more to summarize the effect of external pressure outside the heart on cardiac output curve we have a lot of conditions which shift the cardiac output curve either towards the left side or the right side normally the the intrapleural pressure is minus 4 mm of mercury and the right atrial pressure is 0 mm of mercury so normally by increasing the right atrial pressure the cardiac output will increase but if there is some conditions which uh, basically decrease the intrapleural pressure then the the cardiac output at that level will be achieved at a lesser level it will be achieved at a lesser level at this point rather than at this pressure but if there is a pressure outside the heart or any condition which increase the pressure outside the heart like positive pressure breathing or opening of the thoracic cage or cardiac tamponade then the same level of cardiac output the same level of cardiac output will be achieved at a higher level of the right atrial pressure and it will shift the cardiac function curve towards the right side and the conditions which decreases the intrapleural pressure it will shift the curve towards the left side and when it shifts the curve toward the left side the, the the same level of the cardiac output will be achieved at a lesser level of the or a small level uh, or low pressure level of the right atrial pressure so that's a small simple explanation of the effect of external pressure outside the heart on cardiac output curve